It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm really excited for this beer. Really excited because I've been reviewing lately, well, I say lately, over the last 18 months to two years, lots of Helles Lagers. I'm a big fan of Helles Lagers, as probably a lot of you know. And I come across this one in my local bottle shop. It cost me £2.89 to buy. And it's by one of my favourite German breweries, Eyinger Private Brewery, from 1878, about the same age as when this house was built. So that kind of industrial revolution that went on back in the day where everybody was digging coal out the ground all over Europe and the world and everybody needed to produce steel and bricks and, and guess what? With all of that steel and bricks and stone and house building and dock building and industrial revolutionness, we needed beer. We needed beer. So all of a sudden, lots of breweries started popping up around this time to feed and drink and water the thirsty people of the world. There's the painted bottle cap on this one. Um, a lager? Hell. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Look, I was gonna, I was going for my glass. Look, it's, this one's coming out the top of the bottle. Oh, look at this pour. Look at the quality on this beer. As Soon as I seen this beer in my local bottle shop in Cardiff Discount Drinks, Great bottle shop. If you're ever in the Whitchurch area of Cardiff, Whitchurch Road, halfway down on the right hand side is this. It, it's an unassuming shop. It's a shop that sells Mars bars and bread and milk and sugar and newspapers. And it's a corner shop. But with this corner shop, they've got a side wall that is just full, full of different beers from around the world. And they've gained this fantastic reputation from all around Cardiff for for these beers and it's not just a reputation because the beer is great but it's a reputation because the price of the beer is exceptional as well look at this £2.89 for a beer that had to travel all the way from Germany and I'm getting it for under, under £3 I think it's sensational value for money we got a three finger white head on this one good levels of carbonation rolling up all of the glass really it's really quite carbonated it's a straw colored lager nice and clear once the head dissipates a little bit i'll be able to pour the rest of the beer into the glass but i don't think it's going to be i don't think it's going to be a hazy beer this will not be in a Helles lager never know it might be though and it's 4.9 percent abv in a 500 ml brown bottle aroma then on the beer well it's Helles lager isn't it it's Helles lager it's just it's a it's a tough one to describe really how much I like this beer, this style of beer. There's a level of sweetness in there, but the sweetness is coming from the malt. That slight biscuity, slight maybe wheaty, wafer-like aromas that are just fantastic. A little bit of spicy pepperiness on the back end. Absolutely wonderful. And I've noticed, because I've, I've been drinking the Iinga beers for now for a number of years, probably the best part of 10 years. Same as Weinhenstefana, Wein the world's oldest brewery. They're all producing Helles Lager now. When I first started drinking Weinhenstefana, Iinga, Erdinger, all of these fantastic German breweries, Francis Kana, they've all now got a Helles Lager in their range because it's such a popular style. It's kind of come from nowhere. Anyway, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Do 
just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Sweet, spicy, peppery, malty, biscuity, wafer like. Drinkability is incredible on the beer. Let's wash this last inch of beer around in the bottle and get it in. I stand corrected. Now I just dumped that last inch of beer from the bottle into the glass and you can see there's a slight, there's a slight haze on the beer. Ever so slight. So I think that's gonna add even more flavor to the beer. Ever so slightly, and I've always described this from day one, ever, ever since I first had my unfiltered, first unfiltered beer or my first bottle conditioned beer, the best way I can describe it is it almost adds a little bit of chalkiness to the beer. I've always described it that way. Um, it's my own personal way of identifying an unfiltered beer or, or when it, when when that unfiltered goodness as i call it goes into the beer it's almost like um i want to use the word gritty <coughs> it's not gritty it's none of those things but maybe slightly 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 chalky that's my best way of describing it of course you get that slight kind of german ester coming through as well with it being unfiltered But it's great. It's a Stone the Crow's beer. Stone the Crow's beer for me. So, sweetness over here. Little bit of bitterness over here. Now, the difference between a Pilsner and a Helles Lager is that Pilsners are much more bitter. They, the bitterness on a Pilsner is ramped up. With a Helles Lager, it's dialed back a little bit. And, and because it's dialed back a little bit, you're then able to get or decipher a lot more of that sweet malt in the beer, that biscuitiness, that, <coughs> that wafer-like quality. 4.9% ABV. I know now, because I bought it, I know now that this beer is going to be in Cardiff discount drinks probably for a long time. And if ever I fancy, which is a lot, a good session on a Helles Lager, then I could absolutely like the barbecue. I've I, I mention barbecues all the time, but that's my favourite pastime. When I'm drinking, unless I'm watching football on the telly, my team won last night, 2-0. Um, unless I'm watching football on the telly, <coughs> my favourite pastime to drink beer is lighting the barbecue, sun out, deck chair out, absolutely loving it in the game. That's my favourite pastime of all. If you ask me if I could do anything in the world, I would like the barbecue and, and pour a beer. Rating for Iinga. Lager hell. It's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So the ingredients are water, barley, malt and hops. If you've not had anything from Iinga, please try some beer from Iinga if you like your German beer. They are a fantastic German brewery. I like this beer enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.